we're going to implement a proportional integral controller on the temperature control lab and uh, this is exercise number nine if you'd like to follow along with the link and the source code just select this uh, link or type it in I'll also put that in the description in the video all right, here's some sample source code just to get started. Uh, it asks us to develop a proportional integral controller. And we're going to fill in the PI controller equation right here. And we're going to just code it up from scratch, implement it in Python, and then test it with our Arduino device, the temperature control lab device. Here's a little bit more information on the PI controllers. This is a classic form. There's also a velocity form. Uh, we're not going to cover that here, uh, just stick with the standard uh, form for the PI controller. And then also convert over to discrete form for the integral because we don't have a continuous error signal. We're going to uh, use, you know, for digital control systems we sample, in this case, once per second. And we'll just start off with some basic tuning. Our controller gain is just going to be 1 over kp and tau i equals tau p. This is uh, the recommended tuning for moderate uh, tuning for internal model control, IMC uh, controller tuning. And if you'd like to just jump straight to the solution, you can select that box and see some of the solution. But let's, uh, let's go through this and just develop the code ourselves. So I'm going to uh, just expand this one and grab the code. Okay, and then just copy that into, uh, in this case, I'll just do it in Notepad++. And then when I save it as a Python file, all right, let me come to here, and I'll do a pi control.py. You can also do this in a Jupyter uh, notebook, for example, um, or any other Python environment. So I'm just going to come up to the top. And uh, from before we had, uh, well, let's just go ahead and do this. I'm going to get the PI controller right over here. Just the equations so we can see them as we're developing this. Put it over to the side. And all right, let's get the code over here on the right. All right, so we want to first of all just get our tuning parameters. I'm just going to do 1 divided by 0 0.9. The gain, the process gain uh, for the temperature control lab is about 0.9, meaning <clears throat> that if you raise the heater percent by 1, you get about 0.9 uh, degrees Celsius temperature change. And then the tau i, I'm going to say that's 175. That's in uh, seconds. All right, and then we're going to go for uh, 10 minutes on this test, and we're going to have a set point change from 23 to 60. The first thing that we need for our controller is the Q bias. Uh, that's the uh, when you turn on the controller, uh, that's going to be the nominal value to avoid uh, the bump that might happen if you don't have that. In this case, it's zero, so we don't see. Uh, controller bump when we go from manual to automatic. All right, let's go ahead and fill in the equation. This one is going to be Q1 uh, bias and then plus KC and then this is going to be times our error. And our error is going to be SP1 and we got to index it with I. And then we get our temperature that we're going to be measuring each cycle from the Arduino lab. Now we're going to use this error a couple um, different ways. So I'm just going to say air equals and I'll put that in here. So there's a proportional only controller right there and now we want to add the integral as well. So we need to have a summation. I'm going to create a new variable which is I air. Uh, that's the integral of the air. And then what we're going to do here is I air and if we do plus equals, we're going to add to it. So it's I air equals I air plus, or in shorthand form. Uh, okay, and then we're going to add the error to that. All right, and then we'll do KC divided by tau I, and then times I air. 
So now we've added the integral term to this as well. Let's go ahead and just um, implement anti-reset windup. So one of the things that we have to be careful of with uh, you know, the integral action is that if you saturate the, uh, the output, the controller output, you need to stop incrementing the uh, integral error. So I'm just gonna replace this clipping here um, to say if Q1i is greater than 100, then we are going to, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take out the integral action that we had before and I'll do a minus equals and we'll do error. So we just need to remove that if we're saturated and then we'll do Q1 I. Uh, actually we can just go ahead and do uh, another if statement here. Okay, if it's less than zero then we'll also take it out. Now we could put that in one statement up here. We can do or. All right, so there we go. We took out the incremental error if we are above 100 or below zero. And then in this statement right here, we're just clipping it to uh, between zero and 100 because we can't have a heater value over 100% or less than zero. All right, so this is our PI controller. One of the things that we want to do now is also just quantify our performance. And so the problem statement asks you to, um, you know, in, in future ones, also in this one, I think it's a good idea to just quantify it. Um, you know, we have the uh, integral absolute error just to see how we're doing with, the, um, with our controller performance. So let's just implement that right here. Um, I'm just going to put it as zero. And I think it's actually a, a later problem statement that asks us for this, but let's just go ahead and implement it here. Um, so once we get our new measurement, we're going to also say the integral absolute error plus equals, and then actually I'll do this. I'll do this and then np dot absolute value numpy absolute value of the error. So we're just gonna quantify how much uh, integral absolute error we're accumulating, how well our controller performs. So as we change the tuning constants, we can get some quantifiable measure about how closely it's tracking to the set point. So let's just go ahead and start this uh, running and, uh, and then I've got some results, I'll uh, pause it and then we'll show uh, the results and then analyze uh, the performance. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And let's run it. It'll first of all connect to uh, the device and then start by every second. It will then uh, have a new heater value. You can see the initial temperature there. Uh, the heater is on at about 3.5%. And then when I change to 60%, you can see the heater value went up to 45, 46 uh, right now. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pause this. And then once it finishes, we'll look at the result and analyze the performance. Here's the result of the PI controller. You can see that um, it didn't ever saturate, so we didn't ever have those conditions met where it goes below zero or above 100 on the heater value. But you can see that uh, unlike the proportional only controller, the proportional integral controller <clears throat> was able to reduce the offset and then get nearly to the set point. If it were to continue, it would eventually get there. And this is relatively poor tuning. Uh, we can go much faster, maybe have a little bit of overshoot. And so we'll be talking about that in subsequent videos.